my beautiful sweets, Sweet Sadie J coming back at you. Hope everyone's having a wonderful day, afternoon, evening, whatever time you're watching this video. Welcome back to my channel, Sweet Sadie J TV. Thank you all so very, very much for all the love and support you show my channel. I hope everyone is enjoying their Christmas holiday. If you had to go back to work, I hope you're okay with that. But whew, it's been a trying, trying uh, week start of the week, but y'all know that's life, right? I have a small little Dollar Tree haul here I want to share with you guys. I think it's small. Yeah, I think it's small, but we're going to start with a Christmas card that I received, and I'm going to share that with you guys before we jump into this Dollar Tree haul. I'll be right Okay, back. my sweets. This is a beautiful, beautiful Christmas card from my girl, Brenda Lee. Thank you, Brenda. You're so sweet, girl. This is such a pretty card. It has the little Christmas tree on it that says Merry Christmas. And it is a Hallmark card. And it's just beautiful. I love it. As you guys can see, I have not taken my cards down yet. I am going to be taking my stuff down. It is traditional for us to take our stuff down after New Year's. So my stuff will be up until after New Year's, even though... The Stella Trees and all the other stores have already got the Valentine's stuff out, the St. Patty's stuff out, um, all the spring items are out already. What else is out? St. Patty's, Valentine's, Easter, Easter stuff, some Easter stuff I've seen out already. Anyway, Miss Brenda wrote in here, oh, uh, let me see if I can, if I can read this out loud. Hmm. Oh, so sweet. She said, Sadie, you are always making people smile and so kind to everyone. When we watch your videos, we always know how thankful we are to have you in our lives. Oh, Miss Brenda, may God bless you and you are always in our prayers with all our loved ones. I know it's hard for you without your mom, but always remember she is with you in your heart. And spirit, we hope you have a Merry Christmas, God bless, from Brenda Lee, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year's. And the card itself says, wishing you gifts of peace, joy, and happiness. And she underlined, peace, joy, and happiness. Y'all know I always say love, peace, and happiness. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Brenda. That is so sweet. Yes, girl, I miss my mama so bad, but you know what? It gets a little bit easier every day. Some days are better than others, but you know, we made it through because all the siblings, except for one, we were all together. So that made it work. But let's jump right into this Dollar Tree haul real quick so I can go to bed because y'all know I'm an old lady and I'm always tired. But I'm going to start with this little phone stand that I bought. And y'all know I don't typically buy the Dollar Tree you know, phone stuff. Yeah, I'm going to give y'all that look. Uh-huh. <laughs> because it usually doesn't work. But I saw this one and it had all my favorite colors, like the purple, the green, and the blue. And it's mostly primarily green on this side. You can lay your phone, let it rest across like this, or you can stand it up like this. Of course, I'm on my phone, so I can't really show you. It just says it's a phone stand. And it doesn't say, I guess it's a Green Briar product. Um, adjustable angles for use with most smartphones. Okay, so it'll show you the diagram on the back on how you can put it. And I've actually been using it. It's, it's doing okay so far. Like when I don't have my phone in the case, you know, I can sit it on this and I can either stand it or I can lay it across, which I typically lay it across. But I thought that was really cute. So, hmm. We will see. Y'all know I'm real, real suspicious and skeptical, skeptical about Dollar Tree phone stuff. All right. So I did haul these once before, but I hauled the rainbow ones and I have them in my car and they work wonderful, but I really wanted the heart ones. So I finally found the heart ones and I got these and I'm just going to switch out because on one of the rainbow ones that I have already in my car, I already broke the rainbow off. Because that's where I sit in my pocketbook when somebody's sitting in my passenger seat. 
but I like these. They really do work. You don't ever have to sit your pocketbook on the floor again, and it's easy to get to as is instead of just throwing it in the back seat. So I did get another pair. These are the heart ones. These are just, say, car hooks, two pieces. Looks like that. So I got those again. Re repurchased. Another repurchase is these all clear automatic automotive glass wipes fresh scented seven inch by six inch and you get 30 wipes and they have the big big tub of glass wipes in the dollar tree right now but i don't want that big thing i don't have anywhere to put it in my car i like little packets like this where i can put it right down in the little pocket on the door and just keep them so i can clean my windows inside and outside and i could not find these down here in my area i actually found them in a dollar tree in rocky mount so mm -hmm. so i was like yeah i should probably should have grabbed a couple of packs but i didn't i just grabbed one for now you get 30 wipes so i got those okay my sweets i didn't need this notebook they have a whole end cap full of the notebooks and jot notebooks and stuff but i just thought this was really cute they had this one in the black that just says stuff, and it is, I believe it is a jot. Well, it just says PU Notebook. It's a Greenbrier product. They had one in the brown. I forgot what it said now. I just had it in my head, and I forgot it. But they had one in the brown, and they had one in the black. The black one said stuff, and I forgot what the brown one said. But they're just like little blank sheets of notebook. So you can write your notes down and it says 64 sheets, five inches by seven inches. And it is a green briar product. And I just thought it was really cute. It's kind of like that leather pleather material. If you can see it. And so that's what I got. I like that for taking my notes and stuff. So keep that right here by my computer. And none of my stores have this new secret deodorant out yet in my area but they do still have the power stick um, beauty and skin care power stick original nourish nourishing invisible protection roll-on and if you have not um, tried this antiperspirant deodorant 1.8 fluid ounces I implore you to try it. it's great it's a great great um, deodorant it's a small one but it has no smell it goes on once. The only problem with these is that you have to really, really give it a good roll. Like, keep shaking it to get the roller going. But once it gets going, you have no more problems. It has no smell to it, and it really does the job. And so every time I see these, I like to pick these up and keep them in my arsenal until our stores get the secret, and then I will be investing in the secrets. But... This is pretty good. I've never tried Power Stick um, deodorant, but I love roll-ons. I hate sprays, and I hate the waxy. I love roll-on de roll deodorants. So it does have a best buy or sell-by date, but it's kind of, it's kind of um, squished together. It looks like it says um, September of 2025, but... I'm not really sure about that because it's all squiggly lined and, you know, like that. So, anyway, I got that. It'll be gone a long time before then. I did pick me up another Carmex because I love my Carmex um, lip balm when I'm out in the street, you know, wearing masks all the time. I don't put on lipstick, but I will put on my Carmex lip balm, and I'm always buying more to make sure I never run out. And then I found a couple of items from Pro FX. They say they're new, but they just could be new to me. But y'all know how I've been telling you I have been looking for cuticle oil and I couldn't find it because I was looking in for it in a little um, separate bottles, but I forgot the cuticle oil came with the Pro FX um, hand cream. But I believe I gave those all away. But anywho, I'm sorry, I digress. I found this tonight in the peach mango. This is Uplift Peach Mango. And it is a scented oil therapy, hand therapy, um, hand cream, and cuticle oil. And I just bought it just for that cuticle oil. Because y'all know I love my, what is it, milky cow or whatever it is, 
hand cream. But this is pretty good too. And it says it's new. And look at that big bottle of cuticle oil. I was like, yes, thank you. Pro FX Professional Salon Formulas. This hand therapy kit was created with your hardworking hands in mind. Use the ultra hydrating hand cream to help nourish and polish dry hands, which will leave your skin feeling soft, moisturized, and completely caressed. The cuticle oil, conveniently packaged in a roller ball, effortlessly rehydrates nail beds and rolls on easily for when you're on the go. Your hands never look so good. So, yes, please. <laughs> I'm glad I found that. Okay. And the second Pro FX item I found was a scented oil therapy in a, um, it says So Calm Freesia Lavender. This is a hand and body scrub exfoliant. And it looks like this. And it says new. And I've never seen this before. But it would be nice to exfoliate your hands and your nail beds before you use your cuticle oil and your hand cream. And it doesn't really have much of a much of much of a smell. But when you put your fingers in there like I did, it just you can feel the little sand pieces to exfoliate your um your hands. So I was like, oh okay, let me try this. Anything for my hands, I'll try it. I probably won't use it on my body. But I'll definitely use it on my hands and, I, you know, not my face. But my hands and my feet, yeah, I will try this stuff. So this is a 7.5 fluid ounce container of exfoliant. So I was like, okay, I'll give it a try, especially in my lavender. My lavender. And I found some, whew, this is all Be Pure stuff. This is Lavender Scented Be Pure 2-in-1 Shampoo and Conditioner Bar. This is the Lavender Scented and the Coconut Scented. And I told you guys, I was looking for my girlfriend Leslie, um, Leslie Blue's husband Billy shampoo bars. And I hadn't seen any. But I did find some in the, what is it, African Pride. So I got him one of those. And then I found these today. And these are by Be Pure. And they're shampoo and conditioner bars. This one is in the lavender, the lavender, and they both look the same when I open them up to check them out and smell them. This one smells a little bit better than the coconut one. I can't really smell the coconut one, but they look like this. Okay, and they both pretty much look the same. The lavender one looks like this. Hmm, my man smelled like that. Ooh, yeah, he'd be in trouble. <laughs> that looks like that. And that's the lavender, and I can't stop smelling that one. Whew, this smells so good. I thought I would have liked the coconut one better, but yeah, that lavender's got me. Can't really smell the, um, the coconut one, but they both look pretty much the same. So they're shampoo and conditioner bars um, together. So I usually just get him shampoo bars, but these are two-in-one shampoo and conditioner bars. So I hope he likes these. So I did find those by BPR. So I got him three so far. And then um, the BPR Edge Wax, I found some more. And every time I find some, I get some more. And my favorite out of the three, which is Shea Butter Scented, Coconut, and Watermelon, um, my favorite is the Shea Butter Scented, and I don't even have it on tonight because I was just too lazy. But I got two more of the Shea Butter, and um, yeah, these are just the Shea Butter Scented ones. And so, and then I got a watermelon one. Let me see where okay. it is. And I got one of the watermelon ones like this. Come on, focus, focus, focus. So I got one of the watermelon ones, and I already have... The other one this smells pretty good yeah that smells pretty good but this stuff lasts a long time but because it's so good and it's only a dollar 25 compared to what it costs in the hair supply stores or walmart's or targets this is a great stock up item to get it will last you a long time for only a dollar 25 so i think i'm up to five because i already had the shea butter one then i got the coconut one and then I got two more of the shades. So that's two. Yeah, five. 
So I got five of those so far. So I think I'm, I'm, I think I'm complete now. I think that's all right. And then I was telling you guys when I was making up my first ladies, my mom's first lady, her, um, the Yardley baskets for her and my Lottie, that I have been looking for those Yardley candles and I kept checking my large lo local Dollar Tree and they didn't have them. And the day after Christmas, when I went in there, guess what they had? The Yardley candles. So I'm going to switch them out because I have not given them to them yet. I'm going to be giving them to them this Sunday when I go to church. So I will take the candles that I had in there and switch them out and put the Yardley English lavender. This is the English lavender. And I'm going to put the lemon verbena together in one. So I got those and they smell good. I especially love this lemon. Mm, I love anything lemon. Uh, smells good. But the lavender smells wonderful too, y'all. Oh boy. So yeah, I'm going to put that in the one with the, the uh, lavender basket. And then the one with the oatmeal and almond basket, I'm going to put the oatmeal and almond and the berry blossom. Oh, that berry blossom smells really, really good. Can y'all see those? So this is the oatmeal. Uh, I'm not sure. I keep trying to gauge the smell of it. It doesn't smell bad. I'm just trying to gauge what it smells like. It's supposed to be oatmeal and almond, so maybe that's what it is the cherry almond that I'm smelling, but it smells more like furniture polish to me. But anyway, by the time you put the berry with it, it'll be all right. So I did get those, those candles. Oh, I can't stop smelling. They got the little hole right there at the top where you could just oh, sniff them and they smell so good. So yeah, I'm going to switch those out and then give them their baskets on Sunday when I go to church. Okay, next item's coming up. Okay, my sweets, I got a couple of more repurchases here. Of course, my Donald Duck orange juice still on that. You know, I like to, again, put them in the freezer, make slushies. I'm really on the orange juice kick because I still got a little remnants of that cough in my chest. So I'm really, you know, doing it up with the vitamin C. And I love these orange juices, like I told you before. Put them in the freezer, freeze them, get them to a slushy consistency, and sit there and go to town. It's like having a delicious dessert. It's so good. Another repurchase is my Utz onion and garlic potato chips. I had purchased two bags of these before I saw the chips that you saw in the thumbnail. I had not seen those yet, but it's fine because I want to make tortillas out of those. But I did get two bags of these. Um... 2.7 ounce of the onion and garlic, and I told you how I love to eat them with just plain sour cream as my dip. They are $2.29 here, but they their best buy is April 17, 2023. Gluten-free, love these as a little snack or with one of my sandwiches, my BLT, my ham sandwich, ham and cheese sandwich, whatever. And my stores down here ran out of the hot chocolate completely out of. I found this in one of the stores in Rocky Mount while I was at my sister's house. So I did get another pack of these and these are six packs instead of eight packs like I showed you from the Dollar, Dollar General. I showed you the ones from the Dollar General. They were eight packs. These are only six at the Dollar Tree. So you can see that right there. I knew there was something different about that package because it was an extra dollar at the Dollar General as opposed to a dollar twenty-five at the Dollar Tree. They have a whole entire end cap full of everything for the cold and flu, the cough drops, the tissues, the um, cough syrup, everything. So I just grabbed a pack of one of my favorite Halls Relief. Relieves coughs and soothes sore throats, cools nasal passages, and these are the cherry flavor. I usually try the Ricolas. I usually use the Ricolas, but I already have two bags of those. I keep those on my nightstand at all time, but I did go ahead and grab one of the cherry ones just to switch it up from time to time. Y'all yeah, know, same old thing, bores you after a while. These expire February 12th, 2024. So these are the cherry flavor, and I like them because they do open your um, nasal passages up. So 
Um, my sister had to give me a recola at her house today because I was just barking my head off the more. Like, in, anytime I exert myself, then I start coughing like crazy. Okay, moving right along. I saw this in, in the Valentine display, and this was very, very cute. And I hadn't seen this at any other store. And it had my logo on it. And it was purple, y'all. It said, sweet. <laughs> and it's purple. It's pink down here, but it's purple on the top. Well, when I went to the register to pay for it, the top came off of it. And I saw that this part right here, I don't know if you guys can see it, it's cracked right here. And so I told her, oh, never mind. I don't want that. They only had two over there. And I said the other one was already scratched on the front, so I didn't want that one. So I told her, oh, never mind, I don't want that one because it's cracked right there. She said, oh, ma'am, if you like it, I'll give it to you for 50 cents. I said, oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, I'll take it for 50 cents, and since I can just push it down, and it won't, I just have to be careful with that part right there. It does close, so I just thought that was so cute because it had sweet on it, and it was primarily purple. I was like, oh, I got to have that. So I got this for 50 cents, and I was very, very happy about that. And then I showed you guys in a previous walkthrough of the new um, basket weaved little waste baskets they have in the pink gray and I think teal and I did pull the trigger and go ahead and get one of them and they're just calling them waste baskets they are a green briar product but they are so pretty I thought I was going to put it in my bathroom but I decided to put it in my bedroom because it will match my quilt and my shams the same color so yeah I'm going to just switch them around and I thought it was really cute and I love when they do that weave basket kind of you know motif so I got that Love it, love it, love it. And then the thumbnail, like you guys saw, I got the last two bags off the shelf in my Dollar Tree, but when I went to other Dollar Trees, they did have it. It looks like there's something they're getting ready, you know, like a Mardi Gras um, motif. They have the tortillas. I believe they might have had something like this before, but if you look at the bag, how it's decorated, it looks like it's ready for Mardi Gras. And I was just like, yeah, I want both of these because I want to make some um, tortillas. You know, so they're tortilla chips, plain round, yellow corn, no artificial colors or flavors, uh, zero grains of trans fat per serving, and it's a six-ounce bag. As you can clearly see, this is how much you get in the bag. The rest is just air, but that's more than enough. You can see it. And I did pick up two bags of those, so... That's going to make nice uh, nachos. I really, really have a taste for some nachos. So I'm going to make some nachos out of one and just put the other one on for backup. But I thought the bag was really pretty because it looked like it was like for Mardi Gras. Okay. And that is it of the $1.25 items. And y'all know the big kid that I am. I had to buy something from the, <laughs> the Dollar Tree Plus. I was waiting for them to mark that stuff down. And some of the Dollar Trees I went to, the Dollar Tree Plus stuff was marked 50% off. But others that I went to, they were not. So I paid the full $5 for this. This is an infrared induction helicopter. And it is so fun. Y'all know I like anything that lights up and moves around. So I'm going to come back on and show you guys how okay, it works. Okay, my sweets. This is how it looks. Now, I've already crashed it a couple of times because I didn't read the instructions before I tried it. But this is your little cord that you can charge it up through your USB port, through your computer. And there's a little on and off button down here that starts it up. Y'all see this? I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> see? It will crash. It's not supposed to. If you put your hand underneath it, it will go higher. But it's so much fun. Did I break it? I might have broken it. Okay. I couldn't resist it, y'all. I just couldn't resist it. It's over there gonna land on the floor whoa 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 hit the chair whoa 
It's all the way over there. I just had to get it, y'all. I'm like a little kid in a candy store. I'm like, this thing is so cool. I've crashed it several times already, just sitting here in my living room playing with it. But I think I'm going to give it to my brother. He'll love it. I think he'll just absolutely love it. So, But that is it, you guys. That is the end of my small little Dollar Tree haul. I hope you guys enjoy watching. Love, peace, and happiness. Sweet Teddy J coming back at you. Remember, guys, be kind to each other. The world is big enough for us all. I love you all so very much. Until the next one, please be blessed. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, guys.